everybody this is a short video on nouveau embellishment mousse uh, before i get started i want to say this is not in any way knocking uh, nouveau or tonic studios i think they have amazing products uh, and i don't think that everything lasts forever so uh, just keep that in mind that i am not bashing this company in any way i'm just Hopefully going to inform you guys and give you guys a couple tips uh, so hopefully this won't happen to you and if it did then I will uh, share a couple tips that people have shared with me. So what I'm talking about is my embellishment mousse dried up to hockey pucks. They are so dry <laughs> uh, and keep in mind too that I have had these for a couple years and I think they lasted a good year, year and a half maybe before they dried up completely. Um, so let's see, this one is my newest one. And this one, honestly, I think I might be able to save because, no, actually, I take that back. <laughs> it's still, because I purchased this one later. Um, yeah, it's pretty dry. But... I posted on Instagram about how my Nouveau embellishment mousse dried up and these are some of the tips and things that people have uh, told me so these are coming from them um, first thing is if you have the Nouveau embellishment mousse that has the cardboard in the top here that is defective so they're saying that Obviously, the cardboard soaks up all of the moisture, and what from what I've been told is if you contact Tonic Studios, they will uh, ask you if it has the cardboard, and if yours does and it's dried out, then I'm thinking they might send you, I don't know, a couple people said that they did send, a couple people said that they didn't get uh, anything back here, they didn't hear anything back from them, so I don't know. I guess it might be just a worth a try if yours are dried out. I'm not going to do that only because Tonic Studios sent these to me to try out a couple years back and I absolutely love them. They are definitely a good investment if you can keep them from drying out because there is tons of different ways that you can use these. Uh, all right, so first thing is, is if you do have the ones with the cardboard in them, uh, you want to take that out and the next thing is you want to put some press and seal wrap on it just like this so I was trying to revive mine and this has been sitting for a few weeks now to be honest I put water and glycerin warm water I tried um, kind of breaking it up a little bit stabbing it to get it the moisture inside all sorts of different things and it's still super dry I think once it hits the hockey puck stage I think it's it's you just gotta throw them away so first tip again take the cardboard out if you have the cardboard they did switch to foam on the lid so that's a good thing so if you have foam on your lid I still would suggest adding a uh, press and seal just to make sure that all of that moisture stays in and then um, like I said you're gonna want to add that press and seal wrap and make sure that they are all the way closed when you are using them or after you're done using them um, <clears throat> and store them in a cool area I'm hoping to help you guys so that you guys can uh, make these last for a long time longer than I did but like I said I'm not bashing any company I love tonic studios and Nuvo products I use them all the time um, but like I said before uh, not everything lasts forever so um, you know sometimes things dry up and that's just you know how it is so um, oh also I think I might try actually to revive this one because it's I can stick this in here see you could see it's like like this so this one might have a chance to be honest so what people said 
was to add distilled water to it. Uh, you don't want to add tap water because of bacteria, bacteria growth. And you want to minimize the, you know, putting your fingers in it because people have said too that they've gotten mold in certain uh, products because they use their fingers. I've never had that issue. Even when I use the Art Alchemy Wax, I never have had mold issues. Uh, but this one, I'm going to add some water to it and then add the uh, press and seal wrap over it and we'll see in a couple days if this one revives. I'm hoping it does because I really, really like this color. Um, oh, let me take the this out. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, come on. There we go. So, again, you got to take the cardboard out because that soaks up all of the moisture. And then put the press and seal wrap on it. So, I think that's it. Pretty, pretty easy. I am, again, bummed that uh, this product didn't last me as long as I was hoping. I have some Prima like paints and things that uh, have dried up so I mean not everything lasts forever and eventually things dry up and go bad so um, I'm just hoping that I gave you guys a couple tips to help them last a little bit longer um, but like I said before if you have the foam on the inside of yours I don't think that it is as much of an issue as if you had if you have the cardboard um, in it so yeah uh, let's see um, let me know down uh, in the comment section if this has happened to you and if you have any more tips and tricks or anything that you might want me to try or anybody else uh, to try um, to get to revive them I'm not going to throw them away yet I'm still uh, hopeful <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think that's it. I haven't finished my coffee yet, but I wanted to get this video for you guys. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that this uh, you found this helpful. I cannot talk this morning. <laughs> All right, if you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. You can share it on social media so that everybody can hopefully uh, see the tips and hopefully help their Nouveau and Belle Schmidt mousse last longer. Uh, and leave me a comment down below letting me know uh, if you have experienced them drying out or any other products drying out and what you did or if there was anything that you did to revive them. Uh, and yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later.